Welcome back to Home Wizard. Cindy Dole here Saturdays 2 to 4, talking about ways to enjoy the spaces you call home or inside and outside, you know. And there's a key part of that enjoyment, enjoyment that doesn't even cost a cent. It's about getting rid of clutter. And this is something that I'm going to be doing this weekend. One of the, the toughies is the place where we accumulate more bottles and more products than anywhere else in the home, and it is the bathroom. How is that bathroom? How is that medicine cabinet of yours? Well, this is a great tip that I came across, and I'm going to do it tomorrow, and I think that maybe you might want to think about this, you know, because it's just kind of the getting started part that can be so crazy-making. All you need to do is to get one of these rolling carts with wheels, all right? And uh, you also want to need maybe a few storage containers and labels, and that's going to get you started. So here's the, here's the fun part. You're going to pretend that you're going on a trip and that you have to pack the toiletries and the cosmetics for your trip, all right? And then you want to bring just those things that you're going to use every day. And then you want to gather those things and set them aside, and those are going to be the things that's the holy grail. We're talking about your toothbrush and your toothpaste and, you know, your mouthwash and dental floss and shampoo and conditioner and maybe extra soaps and lotions and creams and all those kind of things that you have to have. And, of course, your makeup and nail polish and your shaving items. But then here's the stuff that's left, all those extra medicine bottles that maybe are five years old or other creams and things that you've collected maybe from hotel visits and so forth. This is where I really love the idea of having this rolling cart, maybe with two or three shelves you can get like a Big Lots or something. You're going to put it all in there, okay? And then try to have like a category, a category for the guys thing and then a category for the gals things. And then just put it in there. All right. And so now you're going to clear your head because those things that you already know you're going to keep because that's if you're going on a vacation, those will return return to your drawer, to your medicine cabinet, everything else in that wheel with the cart. You're going to take it down the hallway and just reexamine that for some other time. And maybe you can come back to that maybe on Monday or the following weekend. But the good news is now you have quickly gotten downsized to the things you absolutely need to have. And look how beautiful your medicine cabinet looks and how spacious and feng shui your bathroom is. And all these extra things that you probably don't even need, but they're in that little wheel cart. And then, yeah, you wait a couple of days. You go back and you go, wait a minute, I want to still have that cream. I've got to have this, you know, shampoo, whatever. And then fine. Add it back to your space that now is all reorganized. But guess what? Most of those things you can either give away or get rid of. And so think about throwing it out. Don't to- don't throw your medicine down the toilet. We've heard about what happens when you do that. Uh, throw it out in the trash can. And think feng shui. It's so important. I think when you go into the bathroom, that's one of the, the, the places where you kind of start your day. You don't want to have like all this stressful stuff and all these extra bottles in your way. It's just going to kind of spoil the whole mood. And here's another good little trip. Think about magnetizing it. If you have um, a lot of metal objects in the drawers, have you ever considered attaching a long long, straight magnet to the back of the medicine chest or maybe in the back of the drawer. I've tried this before where it'll actually keep like the tweezers and the clippers and the shavers and the other metal objects all kind of together. So another cool thing to think about. So hopefully that'll give you some ideas to kind of dive into eliminating the clutter and then instantly adding more storage uh, to the bathroom space because it's one of those places where we have just hundreds and hundreds of extra bottles. All right, well, let's segue into the second hour of Home Wizards because now it's time to have a little more fun and talk about the heart of the home the kitchen and find out ways whether you have a budget or not to really transform it because uh, the queens of Pasadena are here to show us the way because it's that time. It's that time for the Pasadena Home and Kitchen Tour. We're going to give you a preview right, right here, right now. This is Home Wizards. Seth, let's kick it up a notch to hour two of Home Wizards. Home Wizards. 